Um, is there a quick thing? Um, I would love a big chunk of money. Everything's great. Is there anything you can offer me? When you ask yourself, when you say, I would love a big chunk of money, I would love a big chunk of money, and you're saying it from a place of not having a big chunk of money, we say to you, the vibration that you're offering is about an absence of a big chunk of money. So your work, what you've got to do is your leading edge. You can take this terminology. You got to trick your brain. You got to trick your brain into accepting that you have a big chunk of money, which means you've got to tell your brain enough stories about prosperity, some that you already live and some that others are living, that you train your expectation away from where it is and into a different expectation. In other words, you have to move your expectation about money before the money can gravitate, the big chunk of money can gravitate to that new spot. Because right now, the money that's gravitating to the spot that you're standing on is based upon how you feel about that. We'll talk much more about that, about training expectation into new places, but that's what it is. Law of attraction never, ever, ever, ever makes a mistake. Everything that you are living always perfectly matches, Jerry and Esther included, no exceptions, although Esther thinks that if there is an exception, she should get to be it. <laughs> no exceptions. Everyone gets exactly the response to the vibration that they're offering. So the answer to that question and every other question like it is, when you want something different than you've got, you've got to train your expectation to the something different. And what does that mean? Logically, it means you've got to withdraw your attention from the reality that keeps holding you in the expectation that you've got. So that's what we've been talking about all day here today. You've got to face reality lots, 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 lots less and face vibrational reality lots, lots more, which means you got to feel it. You've got to imagine it. You've got to conjure it. You've got to find the vibration of it and feel it and then milk the feeling, milk the feeling, milk the feeling, milk the feeling. And then the universe will back you up. Is that what you personally feel from my vibration? Cause I've been doing the processes and again, I love the money I have now. And for the most part, I know I will get what I want. Is that still what you feel from my vibration in regards to that? Topic well, that we can feel be? that you've moved your vibration about money and we can feel that as people go, you're doing extremely well, but you have barely scratched the surface of the enormous amount of money that you put into your vortex. When we visit with you, we can feel so so much more money than you have come to expect. Cool. Good time for a segment of refreshment. Thank you.